come up with a product idea. As you can see, the video is recording me inside the car. I don't know if this is illegal. Is this illegal? I did this makeshift um, rig. I rigged one of my power power charging cords to my iPhone and strapped it to my rear view mirror. I'm gonna probably uh, invent something that is going to um, allow you to put your iPhone as your rear view mirror. I don't know if that's illegal. Yeah, I, it, to me, it looks just like my iPhone. It honestly looks just like my mirror. I can see myself and I can see out the back window. But maybe it's a distraction. Distracted driving, I'm gonna get a ticket, another ticket. Don't tell my wife, <clears throat> but I got a ticket the other day. And I didn't mean to, I honestly was just holding my phone. Oh yeah, that's what they all say, it was just holding this phone. No, honestly, I was just holding my phone. And um, it was on speaker. But anyway, in BC, you can't drive and talk or text. And I don't do any of that stuff. I don't drive and text. But I was driving and talking. I was driving and talking to actually a colleague of mine. And um, shouldn't have, but I was. And the cop pulled me over and gave me a ticket. And he gave me a ticket for not wearing my seatbelt. So... I um, got a ticket, I haven't paid it yet, it's almost been 30 days, still deciding what I want to do if I want to dispute it, just so I can, you know, I like to dispute, I've disputed one before and they basically dropped what was like $900 in fines for no seatbelt and they said I had a fine before for, um, for not having a license and I'm like, what do you mean I don't have a license? And they were like, your license has been suspended. And I'm like, what do you mean my license has been suspended? What the hell? And they are like, some sort of medical suspension. I'm like, oh my God. That was like, I go, officer, that was like a, two years ago. Like a year and a half ago. And I've been to the DMV since. And I've been, I've, I handled that dispute. They needed me to get a medical for my doctor. And I went and brought it in. And I, I'll admit, I brought it in late. But I brought it in and I gave it to um, I gave it to the DMV and they never said anything. In fact, I paid the fifty fifty dollars or no, there was no fee at the time. No, I had to pay the doctor to get a medical. That was the fee. But there was no fee at the time. They took it and all of a sudden he pulled me over. He gave me a ticket. It was like an eight hundred dollar fine, like or whatever, five hundred, six hundred dollar fine for driving without a license. I'm like, what the hell? And then a hundred and $50 fine for no seatbelt. Uh, oh my god. This was right before Christmas. Last and this was right before Christmas 2015 when I got this fine. So I disputed the fine and I um a bunch of months later, four or five months later, get a letter from the superintendent saying I have my court K date in November of the following year, so November of 2016. So I go and the cop, first thing he does, he says, hey, you, Mr. Ducharme, yeah. Okay, come with me. He pulls me into a room and he says, oh, so, uh, you know, did you do what I asked you? And I said, yeah, I did what you asked me because at the time when he gave me the fine, I explained to him, he said, go hang a left, go right into that building, fix that up. And if you do that, I'll waive the fine. And so I did that. I went right in there and I was like, DMV, what's going on? And they're like, uh oh, you just have to pay a thirty a twenty two dollar processing fee. I'm like, you just got me in trouble. I'm like, not to, to yell at you, you're just working behind the counter here. But hello, I just got a freaking six hundred dollar fine for not having a license, which I did have a license and I renewed it. They're like, uh, it was obviously a mistake. I'm like, twenty two dollars versus six hundred. Let's do the twenty two. So I did that. <clears throat> Then when I met with the officer at the courthouse, he brought me to the room and he said, did you do what I asked you to do? I said, yes, I did what you asked me to do. It cost me 22 bucks. Happily did what you asked me to do. He said, great. Cracks that off. And uh, so this other seatbelt fine, how much do you want to pay for that? I'm like, how much do I want to pay for that? I had never been in dispute a ticket before. And he's like, oh, yeah, how much do you want to pay for that? He goes, what do you do for work? I go, I work in the fitness industry. He goes, okay, is that a good living? I go, yeah, it's a good living, but I have four children. He goes, ah. Oh. He goes, well, how much you want to pay for this fine? And I go, nothing. 
He goes, ah, oh, I can't do that. And I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, well, how about, I go, well, how about 50 bucks? He goes, well, how about 80? How about half the ticket? So the ticket was like $160. I go, you know, whatever. He goes, okay, how about, you know, I like you. How about $50? $50 sounds good to me. So whatever. So he writes it down to 50 bucks. We go in front of the judge and the judge is like, you know, you know, state your name. So this is what's going on. He starts talking to the officers. He doesn't even talk to me. And uh, the officer's like, yeah, so we're going to waive this ticket because he did what I asked him to do. And it's all cleared up and that's sorted out. And on this one, we're going to reduce the fine to $50. And the officer looks at, the judge looks at the officer and he goes, why are you doing that? And I, an officer's like, well, you know, he has some kids. He has, you know, he has four children and, you know, he's a hardworking man. He's never had fines before. He's got a clean record. And then the judge just goes, I wouldn't have done that. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm just standing there, I'm not saying anything. And he's like, okay, and Mr. Ducharme, do you agree to pay for this fine? How do you want to pay for that? Do you want to pay it in installments? And I'm like, $50 in installments? I'm thinking, because prior you can listen to the other court cases that go through quickly. There was like probably about four or five before mine. And some lady that chose to pay like a $40 fine in $10 installments over freaking a year. And I'm thinking the same thing. I'm like 40.